this video we'll see how to create and use voucher class so our clients use voucher class for different purposes some use it to differentiate between local sales and inter interstate sales some use it to differentiate between retail sales and wholesale sales so you can use it as per your uh, requirement but in this video we'll show you how to differentiate between local sales and interstate sales so that you don't have to always enter the tax ledger uh, add the tax ledgers of gst CGST, SGST or IGST. I'll show you step by step how do we do that. So since uh, we're talking about sales, having voucher class in sales, I have to alter, I have to, from gateway of tally, I have to go to alter and then here I have to go to sales voucher type. Here I'll select sales and here you can see something called name of the class. So I'll directly come here and I want two kinds of classes. That is one is local sales, second one is interstate sales. I'll click on local sales. Here, if I want to exclude any groups, I, I can select them here. Currently, we don't want to exclude anything. And ledger name, uh, if you don't have any uh, created a ledger called sales, you have to create it here so that it can be selected here. And then here, since it's uh, a sale, we're talking about sales, we have to select output ledgers. And this is local sales, so I'll select output SGST, output CGST, and then I'll select round off because your total amount, total invoice value should always be rounded off. And I'll select it as, as total amount rounding, normal rounding, and then I'll save this. Same way, I'll also do interstate sales here, end of list, and then I'll select sales again. Here, uh, since it's interstate, I'll select output IGST, and then I'll select round off as total amount rounding, normal rounding, zero, say yes, and then I'll save this. Now, I'll show you how this will save time for the business owners perpetually. Whenever you want to create a voucher, you go to vouchers and you go to sales, right? As soon as you click on sales, it will ask you whether you want to create local sales or interstate sales. Till now, before you created voucher class, it never used to ask you. And now, the, I'll show you the magic of this. So once you select local sales, automatically these two ledgers pre-appear, right? You don't have to always select this. I'll show you how this works. So I'll say customer A. Now let let us check where is customer A from. I'll I'll uh, select on control enter. So customer uh, A is from Karnataka so and our company is also based out of Karnataka so it has to be local sales and then I'll say enter 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 and I'll select one item say let's say I'll select item 1 and I'll give quantity 5 and now you can see here as soon as I give the rate right so that amount is calculated and the tax is automatically calculated and when I say uh, say for example I have something in decimals and like you can see here, the round of amount is also automatically automatically calculated. And uh, this saves us a lot of time because always a lot of our clients do mistakes in selecting the ledgers and invoice and that creates mistakes in their GST returns. So once you create voucher class like this, your mistakes are permanently cancelled off. And I'll save this invoice. And same way, let us do it for interstate sales. Lay, say, I'll select sales and then interstate sales. And I'll select customer B. Let us see where is he from. Customer B, control enter. So this is also from Karnataka. I'll change the state to let's say Maharashtra. So Maharashtra, it should be interstate sales. Here also I'll make it as Maharashtra. And say I'll again select item one. And I'll say yeah, you can see it here. So it has picked the last rate, and automatically IGST is calculated, and the round of amount is calculated. If I say hundred. It automatically uh, calculates the round of amount, uh, the, the GST amount. Same way, you can do it for purchase as well. So this saves immense amount of time, and uh, more importantly, it reduces a great level of errors which could happen uh, in terms of GST, and saves a lot of time when you are filing GST returns. Thank you.